Hello, buddy. It's that college football guy. Here another video. It's news just broke not too long ago. Broke by Pete Thamel. Um, Pat Fitzgerald, amidst this uh, hazing scandal at Northwestern, has been fired and is no longer the head football coach at Northwestern. Um, the, the allegations going into him, I'm not going to get into them because they are, if they are horrendous, I am not about to lie. If any of the ones, the fact that uh, black players are only allowed to play on defense, white players only on offense, I mean, racial segregation, you had to be naked. In order to, it, it, go into the list. I'm not going to go into all of them, but it's horrendous what all of these are. Any of them are true. He's never coaching again. He's done. He's done. Most likely will not surprise me if the entire staff is purged. This close to the season, it's going to suck. But if you really want to break this clean, you're going to have to do this. And you're going to have to hire a new athletic director. And Northwestern is going to be horrible this year. Um, I'm not going to make this too too long. Because, I mean, just... Black players only allowed to have short hair. White players have long hair because that's the Northwestern way. Are you freaking kidding me? This is a, is I'm looking at it this way is that I'm not going to go into what is going to go into this because everybody's doing it. You can read the report from Pete Thamel um, on what is being said. But I would right now, basically, is that I expect their entire staff to be fired. So what is Northwestern going to do? They're going to have to get a new coaching staff in there. The athletic director probably know. They may be canning him or her. I'm not sure who it is. Get rid of the athletic director. Who would take the job? I made suggestions, you know, like maybe David Shaw, formerly of Stanford. He's got the moral character, the right background, the right... I think he'd be a fantastic hire to plug David Shaw in to be at Northwestern and bring some of his Stanford staff, former staff, with him and try to get that done quickly. I think he'd fit in perfectly. I think he'd fit in perfectly in there. Um, I've heard people saying Bronco Mendenhall. I think he's... Maybe, I don't know if he'd want to do that. And there's other coaches being... Uh, brought in uh, as ideas here. Um, somebody I've heard somebody saying Chris Peterson, but I think Chris has done coaching. Um, I said, I personally would love to see David Shaw go because I think he'd be a fantastic hire on this. Um, but this is bad. I mean, this is really, really bad. And I'm shaking my head at this. I mean, I, we, we, I reported earlier there was a hazing incident, but not much details came out because it was still being in, discussed in-house. And now it's all coming out. And this is bad, folks. So, I mean, I fully expect in the next couple of weeks to go out. I mean, if they don't fire the entire staff, you never fire Pat Fitzgerald because a hazing is a cultural issue. That's tradition that's been gone from class to class to class to class to class. Every single class come on and said to participate in this. That's a tradition. You've got to break the tradition. And that means get rid of everybody. Nobody spared. Completely wipe the slate clean. It's the only way this is going to work. Will they do it? I don't know. What the hell? That's one thing about being a truck driver here. You have three hours and 44 minutes of remaining drive time. Yeah, I don't have much time left right now. I'm uh, here just outside of Troy, Alabama. Uh, I thought I was going to be heading uh, heading um, west originally to go to Kansas City. And they said, no, 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 that load's not going to be ready until 3 o'clock this afternoon. Give you a load. Go to Decatur, Alabama. Pick it up. And head to Jacksonville with it. Back to Florida. Um, except the fact the load wasn't ready for three hours. So I'm still waiting around anyway. But I got down here to tr outside of Troy, um, and I'm going to head back on my way. Going to get into Florida on I-10, probably spend the night there in Florida somewhere, in the just outside the Panhandle, probably a little before Tallahassee. Um, but 
yeah, this is this is bad, folks. Um, I really don't like discuss, dis, discussing the allegations because they honestly disgust me. To be perfectly honest, they they disgust me. They're extensive, and none of them are good. So I'll let you read them. I'm, I did a couple of them there just to give you. It, it pisses me off. So. He's gone. If they're smart, they'll get rid of their, the entire staff. Then they're going to have to find a whole new staff to put in. I'd go after David Shaw. I think that's my first candidate. He's got high character. He could come in and totally change the whole thing. You have to give him a mulligan for like three years. But I think he'd be a great candidate to be in the Northwestern job. Excuse me. But... We'll see. So, let me know what you think about this in the comments. So, thanks everybody for watching. Um, if you haven't done it already, smash the like button, hit the thumbs up, helps the algorithm, helps the video be seen more and more people. Comment on the video. Were any of you surprised that he got fired? I figured, honestly, considering Northwestern, I was and how long Pat Fitzgerald's been there, I was beginning to think they were going to fire him. It's like if Iowa fires Kirk Ferentz, I began to wonder if it's ever going to happen. Um. Big Ten is a habit of keeping coaches around for a long time. But do you think that you know, it should have happened? I, I'm thinking it should have happened. You know, as the timing is a different situation here. And do you have any ideas who suggestions? Like I'm, I'm suggesting my I would put David Shaw, um, you know, Chris Peterson, Bronco Mendenhall, I've heard, but David Shaw would be my number one choice. Um to take the job. Do you have any suggestions on who should take the job? And do you agree with me that they should fire everybody, athletic director, and just gut the whole thing, tear the Band-Aid off, get all of them out, don't be in this, rebuild, and you're just going to suck the first year. But at least you don't have the problem. That's my thoughts. Tell me if you agree with that one or you would have a different idea how you would handle it. And please subscribe to the channel. Just past 400 subscribers on the way to 500. So leave it surely on the climb to a thousand. Um, if you're subscribing or going to subscribe, thank you for doing so. And make sure you hit the notifications bell. It lets you know when I post a video. I try to do one every single day. Um, if there's more, I don't know if I want to do more another about Pat Fitzgerald after this disgusting stuff that's happened. But we'll see. Like I said, tell down in the comments who you think would be a good candidate. To take this job. So I'm trying to think off the top of my head who would be high character, public perception is not really questioned, who has the ability to move, get athletes to perform, particularly at a high academic level, which tells to me like a former Pac-12 coach or a former Big Ten coach, but a lot of the former Big Ten coaches had problems. Um, I mean, would they be crazy enough to go hire like a Bo Pelini, formerly of Nebraska? Um, would they, you know, do some other Big Ten coaches that have been let go recently? Somebody put up a joke on one of the videos watching and said Urban Meyer should get the job. Folks, Urban Meyer will never coach another game ever again at college level. He's done. Okay? He's done. You assault the one sin that can never be forgiven as a coach is to physically hurt a player. Touch them, hurt them. You do that, you're done. It's the one line that can't be crossed. And I said this before and I got to say this again because a lot of people I've been searing in comments as my seat drops down because of lack of air pressure, which is nice. I got to fix this. Say, say bring in Urban Meyer. Joking or serious? How many family members would be showing up to the athletic director's office and says, can, because he has allegedly shoved other athletes from other programs in the hallway, tell him to get the hell out of his way. He has been violent toward his own players at the college level, allegedly, and pro level confirmed. Picture a parent of, an, of a student athlete coming and says, can, look at the athletic director and says, can you guarantee my child's safety with this man on campus? No. 
He's a walking, Urban Meyer's a walking $500 million law, class action lawsuit. No one's going to touch him unless you're a complete idiot. So anybody suggesting Urban Meyer, you're doing it in a joking manner because there's no way in hell anybody with any brains is going to take that. But let me know your suggestions down in the comments. So thanks everybody for watching the video. Say like, comment, and subscribe. I got to get back at it and try to get some more driving in while I got some time left, which isn't much. Thanks everybody for watching. Please be safe out there. Crazy up in Northwestern. And please be good to each other.